glad you're here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, home of the Reds since 2003. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And getting a start for Cincinnati, number 59. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets, and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of all games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. All right, ready to get underway. So here's the Brewers DH, Christian Yelich. Misses inside, and we're underway here in Cincinnati. That hits the dirt. Now 2-0. That one in there across the letters. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. 3 2 okay. now. Three, Got three. him. One away. Now just rip the page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Right. Throw that pitch okay. at the hip and just yeah, yeah. watch it jump back That's over the right. inside part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. William Contreras stands in now and watches strike one. Right hander kicks deals. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. The why to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. Can't field it cleanly. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Safe at second. Man at second here with two away. Here's Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker, a former first-round pick, a guy who was drafted originally by the Reds. He was an all-star starter in 2021 in that National League outfield with Brian Reynolds and his then-Reds oh. teammate, Nick Castellanos. Runner at second, two down. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. He was born in Buffalo, so... That means he's part of Bills Mafia. He's a big Buffalo Bills fan. Man on second, two down. And now the count, one, ball, one and two, two after strike. the swing and the miss. Ground ball right side. Gets it to first. That's, out. That's out number three. Milwaukee leaves one. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back here in Cincinnati. And our pitcher tonight, Wade Miley. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. We go to the bottom of the first, and now the DH, Kevin Newman. The designated hitter. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. The 0 1. Out there to center. Weimer should have this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting a second. Not shortstop. Matt. Now, here is Matt McClain. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. First offering oh, no. misses badly for ball one. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. He keeps his composure and they get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And now the lefty. And it's even up. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz. Now snap throw to first. India dives back in safely. And there's the strike. No ball. One strike. The pitch. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. Oh, He's someone that you might not Miller. describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, not close. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, One even ball. though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. That one hit to right. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one down. Rymel Tapia up to hit. There's the strike. Center field. That gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And that one almost got him. One, two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Friedel to third, close play, but in there. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. This is Bryce Terang. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Runners are at the corners, one away. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And one, ball two. one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Righty to the plate. Ball. Joey Weimer in the Milwaukee on deck circle. First and third, one down. Swings and misses, struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And here's the rookie center fielder, Joey Weimer. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And the next pitch is way outside. Up the middle. They get the force. That ends the frame. Brewers strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. here at Great American Ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second and stepping in the rookie left fielder Spencer Steer. And a pitch. A little bit low. Ball. 
on the inside corner for a strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Another solid power season. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Fair ball! Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's Nick Senzel. Runner on the goal. Base hit, left center field. Votto, round second on his way to third. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Well, to strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. In the air, right field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. It's 2-0. Oh, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. So up next, T.J. Friedel. Ball oh, one, no pizza. strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. And it's fouled away. Hard hit to third. Goes to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We played two full. It's the Reds two and the Brewers nothing. Top half of the third inning. Now it's Christian Yelich. Yelich hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. The right-hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. You know, but people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. On the ground, right side. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now it's William Contreras. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And 
This kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well, said, yeah, he's good, and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually. Next offering misses. Now three and one. And now it's filled up. One down, base is empty. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He recognized the rotation of the baseball out of the hand, stayed tall on the backside, and crossed that pitch the other way. One down. Willie Adamas will hit next. He's 0 for 1. First oh. offering misses the mark. Just missed. Oh, This one in the air center field. And it drops in. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Made a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Now at the plate, Jesse Winker. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Gonna count one and two. Oh, two count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. One, two now. And a ball evens the count. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop to second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Milan back to work. And that's outside. And a foul ball. And the pitch. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Definitely made him chase a little bit no, out no, of his no, own no, right no. there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. 
pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. McLean batting with one down takes a strike. Strike two. O2 count both pitches on the inside part of the plate hitter is thinking I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Check swing on an O2 appeal to first and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. The one two. Fly ball down the line. Base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Man, at first, Jonathan Indy at the plate. One for one with a single so far. First Whoa, offering no. and it just misses. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 when they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. And he deals way high. Whoa. Step off throw to first hey. and he's back in safely. Another throw over, and he's back again. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Looked like it was a little bit up. And now three and one. Three one. Cold strike right there. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. Here's a speed threat. Ellie De La Cruz. That's in there for strike one. The pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Reds leave one. They're up to nothing. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. Up now for Milwaukee. Owen Miller. Owen Miller. The wind and the pitch. That one hammered left field. That's back there. And it is gone. He sends a rocket to left. Home run number five on the season. It's 2 1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And now, Rymel Tapia clips the corner, and that's strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. the corner and it's nothing in two ah. 
Lined, and that's a base hit. The bat. The third base hit. Brian Next for Milwaukee, Brian Anderson. And he's already singled in this game. Checks over to first, back safely. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Rudder at first with no outs here. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Friedel moving back for this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now got it. The second base. Right. Here's the second baseman. Bryce Terang. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Over to first and he's safe. That misses. And that's ball one. Bounced up the middle. Dive, and he's got it. Flips it from the ground. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Next for the Brewers, Joey Weimer. Just no, off the outside, outside edge. So two balls and no strikes. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one drifts inside. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Three one is on the way. In the air, out towards left center. Steer makes the play, and it's out number three. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Cincinnati, here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. Spencer Steer. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Now one, one and more. one. Out to short, Adamas. Fires over to first. Yeah. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff, man. Well, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And here's the first baseman, Joey Votto. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ball one there. One ball, no strike. That missed Ball. inside. Two balls, no strikes. There's a strike.
Set down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. The right field. And now it's going to be Nick Senzel. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. That's in for a strike. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And a pop up right side foul territory. Miller makes a nice run and catch. Three up, three down that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Reds two and the Brewers one. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Christian Yelich. Right hater back to work. Line to left. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Up now for Milwaukee, William Contreras. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike with two strikes. May see oh, some dude. movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Activity in the bullpen. Fernando Cruz loosening up for manager David Bell. Sims warming up as well. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Here's a one two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Willie Adamas stands in. And the first offering is not close. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Pickoff move to first. Yelich back in standing. That's ripped into the outfield. Senzel makes the play. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Jesse Winker up now for the Brewers. Yelich goes. Pitch in for a strike. And that's a stolen base, not even close. 
Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch oh. misses inside, and that is ball one. Runner leads away at second and fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swing and he popped it up. India moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Brewers strand one. They're down two to one. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. And the pitch. There's a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Here comes the 0 1. He swings and fouls one off. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Started after it. Appeal to first. Nope, he held back. The pitch in the air right side and that will fall off to a good start with a leadoff knock. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Friedel, the oh, next to God. hit, takes outside. That one pushed foul. Kicks and deals. That misses outside. off the outside edge. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Bro, and they got him. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Wind of the pitch. That's Whoa. a little bit low. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Now it's the DH, Kevin Newman. And first offering is fouled off. pitch that's a ball movement in the bullpen Adrian Hauser up and throwing for manager Craig Council 
Wilson getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. In the air, right field. Tapia snags it for the second out. Now that should stop. So two down now, and here is Matt McClain. That one missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Man on second, two down. And it's even up. One one. And that's a strike. One two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Top of the sixth inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Check swing, appeal to first. And he won around just enough that time. Right hander kicks deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Tapia in the box now. No balls and a strike. And now the 0 1. And that one missing low. The other way takes it in for the out. Up next in the walk off. The third base. Ryan Anderson, the next to hit. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. This one in the air right field. Senzel trots over to his left and puts the squeeze on that one. And that ends the inning. So they go quietly there. Hard in the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Reds 2 and the Brewers 1. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Miley, back to work. Foul ball. Well, these Reds putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. The numbers no. help tell the story. I mean, they've been sitting fastball, and it's paying off in a big way. So far with six hits against that pitch alone. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And that's a great way for a lineup to dominate a game because if a pitcher can't rely on his fastball to get outs, I mean, that puts a lot of pressure on the rest of his pitches to be effective. Out to center. Makes the catch for the out. Now back at the third baseman. Next to hit, Ellie De La Cruz.
pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. There's a strike. The why to kick the pitch. Misses outside. Now two balls and a strike. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. 2-2 two -two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. Got him looking. That's the second out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all now the holes out. in his Let swing him. and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first Number pitch. Three. That's about Number as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and no load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Votto up for the third time here. Watches that one, one miss. Ball. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. That clips a corner. On the ground right side. Terang over to first in time. And Votto is retired. And that will end the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. They lead it 2 1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Fernando Cruz. Well, he's a big time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Better not go. Ooh. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. The second base. Right. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That one hooked foul. Got him! One gone here. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's the center fielder, Joey Weimer. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Here comes a pitch. Into center. Friedel under this one. He's got it. And that quickly two away. Now got that. The designated hitter. Here's Yelich at the dish. Check swing, no appeal. And it's one to know.
Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. The one two. And that one in the air center field. And he makes the catch. And that is the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. And they trail it here two to one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Adrian Hauser. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Well, one run game. Nick Senzel getting ready to hit. That pitch gets the corner, and that is strike one. Good eye in that spot. Check swing, went around, and it's one and two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tapia in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. The bat, bat. The center the center field. Field. TJ. Two outs, space is empty. Friedel. And here is TJ Friedel. Swing and a base hit. And next is the designated hitter, Kevin Newman. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Right handed reliever. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Now fly ball to right center. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Cut off, now a throw home. He beats it safe. And they lead by two. Got the job done to put him up by two. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And now the shortstop, Matt McClain. Tap back to the mound. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Derek Law. He last pitched two days ago. Number 47. Derek. Law. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. First pitch, and he just misses. Action in the pen down there. Alexis Diaz loosening up for manager David Bell.
Righty delivers. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. Now bad. The short shot. Willie. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 1 0. And that's in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one two inside oh, just missed really good take especially with two strikes knocks that one away and we'll do it again still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now, here is Jesse Winker. That misses. Ball one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Lifted in the air down the left side. He's got it. And there's two away. The first base is number six. Owen Miller. Owen Miller up now for the Brewers. He's already homered in this game. Close one. Doesn't get the call. One and oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Pitch misses outside. And yeah, that's ball two. That's a strike. The next offering misses. Three and one now. Rymel Tapia to bat next. Tying run at the plate. We'll Swing and a miss. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three, two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Now it's the right fielder, Rymel Tapia. That's a strike. One one. First and second, two down. Bounce to the right side, India. In plenty of time to first, that's the third out. Brewers strand a couple. Score holds, it's 3-1. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. The second baseman, Jonathan 
India. And the pitch. That's to third. Whips it across. There to beat him by an eyelash. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. So now it's the four hole hitter, Ellie De La Cruz. First ball offering one. misses the mark. One ball, no strike. And there's a no, ball. That's a ball. Two ball, no strike. The wind to kick the 2 0. Oi. And oh. another ball. Two ball, one strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to first. In time. Nice stretch. Well, he's one of the best shortstops in the sport, no doubt about it. And he put his skills on display once again right there. Great stop on the backhand, but it was the transfer and throw for me that really stood out. With the speed going down the line, there's no way he gets the out any other way. That was impressive. Steer in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Two outs. No. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Riding to the plate. And now the count is even. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Nobody left for Cincinnati as the lead remains 3-1. So they turn to their closer, Alexis Diaz. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. Diaz measures six feet, two inches, 26 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And a pitch. Ball one. And takes low for ball one. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent. It produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Swing and a miss. One and two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Kicks and fires. Oh. And down on strikes. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Terang stands in now and watches strike one. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul.
And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Weimer at the plate now. That's ball one. There's the strike of the knees. Next Ball. offering misses down and away. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Comes a 2 2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two two now. Good eye right there. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Three two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Three two on the way. Right through there. Got him. And that'll do it. Great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.